Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video that is exciting for me because I love them, but I'm going to give you my entire UI. Any kind of way that you want to change your add-ons, I will happily share with you. And if you have any questions at all, or if you have any add-ons that you suggest, please let me know. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. This UI is completely free, so I just want to let you know the link to all my files is in the description. It will bring you to this page. Do not be intimidated by this. It's just GitHub. It allows me to just track like what I update. So you can see four days ago I updated. I think I updated one of the five. I think it was easy frames that I, I updated. So this just allows me to track what I update. But yeah, all you need to do is read the instructions. So if you don't want to watch this whole video, that's fine. This link will be in the description and any future videos. Take it, take the files, use them, do whatever you want with them. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to start in alphabetical order. So the first add-on I use is Battleground Enemies. This is obviously for Battlegrounds, Battleground Blitz, even random battlegrounds, anything like that. I don't do much in here. This is what it looks like. Normally you have 10 players in, in RBGs and you're gonna have eight in BG Blitz. And yeah, not much changes. You obviously wanna see the spec and you wanna see all the DRs. I, at least I do. There really, there is not much. I guess you could change the key mods in here too, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh, wow. That's actually, so you could right click and put someone on focus. That's actually interesting. I like that a lot. I don't use it for allies, raid of battlegrounds. I don't do anything like this. Yeah, not much gets changed in here. I just keep it pretty much default. I think it's a really good add-on straight out of the box. Tracks all the enemies on the other team, tracks the spec, tracks the DRs and the CC on them. So, oh, and if they're dead, that's really important too. I've been getting this question a lot and that is what is down here. This is just details with the details add-on. I think it's called details TWW. And you have to download that separately from details. And once you get that, all you have to do is go into skins and then change the custom or sorry, change the skin from minimalistic to the war within nothing changes outside of that. I do not change anything else. This is a really good add on. I am happy with that. I like how it looks. I think it's super clean, but it's really good for tracking damage, healing, seeing deaths, anything like that. I don't use any crazy plugins. I don't think. Yeah, I don't even have, I don't have any enabled plugins. I think there's, these are some good ones for PVE, even for PVP. I think there's like a death one that's actually really good. It helps with showing what cooldowns were available during when they died, but I don't use any plugins like that. I just focus on the healing and damage breakdowns. Diminished is another really important add-on that shows DRs on yourself. You can really show it on anybody on the arena frames, your target, anything. Uh, but what I do is I track it on myself. So I'll uh, toggle test mode right here. And I have it showing my own DRs. There gets a point where I feel like it's too much information. So you can track your focus target, which might actually be good. But I don't focus. I don't track my target, my, uh, you know, on my party members. I, I don't do that. That might, That's too much information for me. But I do track my own DRs because it is kind of telling as a healer when people are going to be going because they need to CC me. You could also show an S arena and I'll show you uh, what that means in, in a moment. And then I also track it on nameplates. So I wonder if I'm going to be able to test it. Maybe not. It look, doesn't look like I can, but what I, what this means is on the nameplates of enemies, it's going to show DRs. And the way I do this is by changing the position of it. So I go into nameplates and I, my nameplate size might be a little different than yours. So you might have to mess around with the position, but this is the position I use and I have it just tracking DRs on the right hand side of nameplates of enemy nameplates. You could also show friendly DRs that again, that's too much for me. I don't want to, I don't really care that much about my friendly uh, DRs, but this is really good. I like this a lot. I am very happy. I got updated for the war within this allows me to not really look over at my arena frames. I could just look at nameplates and I could see DRs easy frames. is just what I use for my own health bar and my target. So I do not, again, I don't change much in here. I just like how it looks. That's it. I have the texture set to smoother and I'm pretty sure that's it. I, I don't, I don't change anything in here at all. I just like how it looks. It doesn't give me any kind of advantage or anything. I just, I, the aesthetics of it is nice. Oh, this, this is a new add on. This is called Crowey's extended vendor UI. So this is what allows you to go to the vendor and you can see more. I, I think this is brilliant. I think this is a brilliant UI. I, you can change how many rows, how many columns there are. Yeah, like it's amazing. You could see everything, every piece of gear that you can buy from the vendor. I don't know why this is an in-game setting. This is fantastic. So yeah, I would highly recommend this add-on just because it's a lot easier to see. You don't have to keep scrolling to different pages. You can just see everything you can buy uh, in, in one view. Another really big add-on that's more of a quality of life add-on than anything else, but Leatrix Plus. This add-on can replace probably five add-ons, five of any add-ons that you, you're using right now. So I, uh, you can just go in here for quality of life stuff. I can start with what I have. So I repair automatically. So if I go on a vendor, I, I do this because I will forget. If I just click this right here, it'll automatically take gold away and it'll repair instantly for me. 
So that's amazing. You can auto quests, um, you know, anything like that, except res. This is a good one for uh, Battlegrounds and Battleground Blitz. You just instantly just res or release. So this is this is really good. Accept summon. You can do all this. Social. You can block invites from everybody. Only do certain things with certain people, which is amazing. Chat. I don't really mess around with stuff like this, but you could hide a bunch of UI stuff, which is really cool. Again, I don't really do stuff like that. Uh, as far as text goes, you could hide error messages, hide portrait numbers. I don't. Actually, I'm not sure if check damage and healing numbers and party. Oh, yeah, because you could see numbers here. I have that hidden. Hide zone text, so that shows, like, hides the names on certain areas. Hide keybind text, hide macro text, so you could see nothing's here. If I reload and uncheck that, it'll show my bind and macro text, which I think is really cool. Uh, interface, so I enhance the minimap, so this allows me to change the size of it. So you could see I could change the size of my minimap which is fantastic. I used to use sexy map, but I'm really trying to slim down on add-ons. I really am. I love add-ons a lot, but it's it was starting to get a little bit much and my PC was getting a little slow. So I'm going to just try to minimize whatever I can. You can combine the add-on buttons so you can see those add-ons, but if I right click it, it shows add-ons. So again, really, really handy add-on. Show player chain. So this is, I think the, what is it? Oh, this is the elite around my, my name. So the gold dragon, you can change it. You can change it to like, Anything you can change it to elite, you can change it to rare, so it's it's a, you know a rare, uh, whatever you want, and then show durability status, which is cool. Frames, hide rested sleep, hide talking frames because they bother me uh, that, for no other reason. You could color your frames too, so if you don't want easy frames, you could color color your uh, your nameplates as well. So a lot of things you could do here. There's a lot of things I don't use that I'm sure a lot of people could use. So set weather density. This is actually important for Tiger's Peak and previously Blade Jets Arena. Max camera zoom is 2.6, so we do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Faster looting, that's what I've been doing, and easy item destroy. So yeah, a lot of things you could do in here. Mess around with it, have fun with it, but Leatrix Plus is a is a fantastic add-on. Next up is Nameplate Cooldown. So this is a huge add-on for me. I would be careful with this add-on though because it can get pretty overwhelming pretty fast. What this add-on does is it shows cooldowns over nameplates, which I know is hard to believe. And it, it, I've watched some people and this add-on can get overwhelming very fast if you're tracking too much. So again, I try to minimize what I'm watching and what I'm looking for when it comes to this add-on because nameplates are stacking. There's a lot of cooldowns you're going to track. You don't want to get lost in just staring at your own UI. Uh, so for this, I pretty much just track major cooldowns. I, I try I try my best to. So if I go to spells, there I only checked certain major cooldowns like the, I don't know, combustion for mages or something, something like that. So I think it's having a hard time loading right now and I don't know why, but Again, the, oh, and then the, another common question I get is how do I get underneath the nameplate? I just set the Y coordinate offset to negative 40 and it puts it underneath the nameplate. That's that's all I change. So maybe it's because I'm in test mode. There we go. So yeah, I only track like AMS and Arcane Surge, Arcane Power. Main defensives, major cooldowns, one, one of each for each spec. That's it. So the max you'll see is maybe two or three uh, underneath the nameplate but no more than that per spec because other than that you're just gonna have a huge bar of icons underneath the nameplate i don't think that looks good and i think it's too much information to process at one time on the auras is a new add-on that i found and i love it i freaking love it this replaced i think four add-ons i think this replaced big debuffs buff overlay and then nameplate auras so this this actually replaced three add-ons the debuffs on the raid frame will show to the left hand side here so you can see fear disarm any other debuffs you will see on the left hand side the buffs are what shows up as buffs on your teammates so this is unending resolve you can see right here in the test mode life cocoon for any any kind of defense of your team has you'll see there and i do not have blizzard buffs enabled so you can enable it to see hots and like a more you know more hots on your raid frame you can do that i don't check it so i don't but Again, you can do whatever you want. And then visibility, oh, I disabled the whole thing. Visibility is just where you want to see this, but a lot of different things you would do in the raid frame section. For nameplates, this is what tracks major cooldowns over t enemies' nameplates right here. So you could see on any resolve for if there was a, this was a warlock. I like this a lot. This shows, and again, don't overwhelm yourself with spells. I only use major cooldowns, defensives, and burst rotation, and burst cooldowns. That's pretty much it. I do not try to track anything else. I don't show my friendly players onto anything like that. I just track certain things on enemies and I try not to get overwhelmed by it. And then this is the aura section. So it looks a little confusing, but you pretty much just go column by column and just check what you want to see. This is the raid frame. This is the enemy nameplate. And this is the arena unit frame. I want to see when someone get, gets kicked on my team. I want to see if someone get, gets kicked over their nameplate. And I want to see it on the raid frame. That's kicks. This is debuffs. And this is a, 
a lot. You can go through. This is why I don't. I don't mind if you just take what I did and just take it. It's fine. So I. I just. Um. I went through here. I did what I wanted to see. Uh, debuffs, buffs, NPC auras is more for PVE, and then the aura editor. I added Blade Storm, Frost Bomb. This is Phase Shift and Provoke. So there are some spells that are missing. That's fine. I don't mind adding them. So I, if there's any that are missing as well, I can always add them to my profile. So just let me know. And then I don't have anything blacklisted or anything like that. So, and I have all these disabled. So that is my, that is my frame. Is the profile sharing super easy. It's in the description. You just copy and paste it in to your profile and you should have it. Omnibar is a classic add-on that is absolutely a mandatory add-on for PVP. This allows you to track any cooldown you want. You, you can literally track anything for anybody in, on the whole team. So what I do is, again, this is like information overload. I try not to overwhelm myself with tracking too many things. I only track interrupts. That's it. I track interrupts right here in the middle of my frame. That's it. I've tested some things out. I thought maybe eventually I would like it. I don't like it. But I will show you how to track other things so that you don't have to. I have all of these exported so you can just copy and paste them. Burst cooldowns, normally what I do is, and they, they do a great job of it. You could just uncheck all and then just go through it and see what burst cooldowns you want to check. That's perfectly fine too. Uh, there are some default spells which are kind of nice, but I kind of just go through. And this will track all cooldowns on the entire enemy team. If you only want to track like arena enemy one you can go here and then go to the settings and then go to name and then go to track arena enemy two so this is amazing right so if i test this right now this is arena enemy two this is where my arena enemy two frame is and this will track so if i do s arena and test this is my arena enemy two this will track all cooldowns that arena enemy two has i think it's a little too much i am use i use nameplate cooldowns for that so i don't need to do it with on with omnibar what I try to do when it comes to my UI is instead of having multiple spots where I see cooldowns on cooldown or some cooldowns active or when the, it's going to happen, I try to have one spot that I can look at to see when the cooldown's available. So I don't have to make that decision in the middle of a game, right? So if there's like three different spots where I can see if a balance shoot has solar beam, I don't want to have to look, think like, oh, what's like the best place to look right now? I just want to know, all right, if I look right here in this exact spot, I'll know. And that's right here with my Omni Bar with kicks. Next up is Omni CD. And again, another important add on. What this does is it tracks your teammates and your own cooldown. So if I test right here, this will show all of my cooldowns that I want to see. That's it. It's really important as a healer. I think it's really important as a DPS to track, even if it's just your healer cooldowns, just know what they have available is fantastic. Now, I don't change much in here. The most I've changed in here is probably the spells. Again, try not to get try not to track too much a lot of it is is really just pointless you don't need to track chill streak I, I, unless like unless you're playing like dk dragon or something like that you know what i mean maybe you need to know when when your dk has chill streak but i really just track major cooldowns for my d for my dk and then defensives it's mostly just defensive so ams amz ibf that's all i want to know for, if i'm playing with a death knight that's all i want to know and when it comes to defensives I only track major cooldowns or cooldowns that they're going to have to rotate when I'm in CC. So AMS, AMZ, IBF, really important to track. Demon Hunter, Blur, Darkness, now the work. Druid is Bark Skin, Frenzy Regen, Iron Bark. Oh, I don't really play with our Druids, but you know, Iron Bark. If you play DPS, Renewal, Survivor 1 6, Tranquility. So only the major cooldowns uh, is what I'll track when I'm using this add on. These are all really important. Mage, these are all pretty important to know. Monk, probably. This is, this is probably fine. Yeah, Karma. Yeah, these are these are all kind of, actually Dampen Harm has been removed, so we could remove Dampen Harm. Pally, Bop, Wings, Shield of Vengeance, all that. Disperse, GS, Pain Suppression, all this. This is actually the only, if you're playing with a Shadow Priest, it's really just Disperse and probably Fade if they have it. I don't know if they have it, but yeah, stuff like that. I just track defensives, utility. Um, probably go through here and check through this again because it looks like they made a bunch of changes to this, which is kind of nice, but yeah. What I try to do is track major defensive cooldowns to my teammates. If you're a DPS, maybe track your healer cooldowns, of course, too. And I do show for Baron's cooldown with um, for Paladins because sometimes they bop and they don't have they they don't they can't bubble during for Baron. So yeah, stuff like that is really nice. Go through this, change change whatever you want to track. That's fine too. And yeah, it's a really really powerful add-on. And then there's Plater. Now this is a huge add-on that I would again highly recommend the customization customization you can do in this add-on is amazing that's why I use it even though there are some plater profiles that look exactly like blizzard frames or blizzard nameplates which is what I try to do 
their customization is is insane. I don't know where to begin with this. I do show enemy nameplates and I show friendly nameplates. It's very important to show friendly nameplates if you want the arrows to show a weak or and I'll show you why uh, in a moment. But nothing too crazy in here. I just I literally just have it pretty much looking like Blizzard nameplates, except you can just change things if you want. That's it. I mess around a little bit with the buff tracking and like the buff special and the ghost doors. I've tried it. I, it's just not for me. I, maybe it is for some people. There's, I have some spells in here that you might be able to track or you want to mess around with. I, I couldn't get used to them, so I, I stopped using it. But again, of course, use it if you want to. Enemy NPCs. This is probably just for. This is just for um, Mythic Plus enemy players. This is obviously for enemy players. Certain things that I track in here. Nothing too crazy. I just you could just change the size. I only show percent amount. You could hide it. I think this is an enemy. Yeah, so that that will hide the percentage. I think you kind of want to know that as a mystery because of touch of death, but do whatever you want. Friendly player, I get this question a lot. How do I show this arrow weak aura if you know and and not see my my nameplate of my friendly player? I will show you right now. What you want to do is you want to show player player name only, and then change the friendly color opacity. That's it. That's all you want to do. That's it. Uh, and this one right here change the color of change the color and the friendly color you can see how these guys have names now you can see this guy uh liaxia Odi, it has a name now if i change the opacity of both of them they will go away so you can see it's there it's just you just can't see it and now you only see the arrows so that's really important outside of that that's all you've played it for the customization is really nice there's a lot of mods for it that you can go through on the on the week or website but pretty much just have it look like blizzard nameplates and all the customization is really nice quartz is is one that you probably don't need to but i just like it so what this is is this just makes i just like how it looks as a cast bar that's it i don't know if they're, they're target bar, bar lock so it shows my target it shows my player it shows my focus target stuff like that Th that's all that's really all it's used for it does it give a competitive advantage maybe you can like increase the size of the icon if you want to so if you go to focus target you could change which side of the icons on so you could change the the height of it right so if you want it to be a little bit more obvious or if you know something like that that's nice too but again i don't really do too much with this i just have it so it shows like nice cast bars are in the spot that I want them to be. I've mentioned it a few times, but S Arena. So this is what I use as my arena frames. It's similar to Gladius, Gladius X and all that. I just like how S Arena looks. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you are using this with Diminish, what I do is I turn off all DRs and then I just have Diminish take care of the DRs. That's just what I prefer. You can have S Arena do it like 100%. I just like I can change more things with Diminish. But as far as anything else, I have it set to Blizz Arena. I have it, the spacing set to 20, nothing too crazy, scales 160, and I just have it pretty close to my arena frame or to my player character because I want to see cast bars, but that's pretty much it. I, I might have resized the spec icons or trinkets just a little bit, just so it's a little bit easier to see the trinkets, but outside of that, there is nothing else really that I've changed in here. It's a really good add-on. I love it. You could show names. You could hide names. You can use class colors for everything. You could show show or hide percentage you can see the real health it doesn't matter you like there's so many things in here that you could track and, and change uh it's really nice really lightweight i highly rec recommend playing s arena but a lot of people's gladius both are perfectly fine they give you the same exact information finally probably the most complex add-on in the game i would say and that is weak auras so i am not afraid to make weak auras i love weak auras i really do i make weak auras for fun i make weak auras for other people i have had people try to offer me money to make them weak auras i please i it's free you i will if you need a weak aura i will make it for you i will not charge you i do this for fun i literally do this for fun so please if you need anything let me know I will show you my weak auras for PvP. Starting off with arena friendly markers, and this simply just puts an arrow over your teammates. Now you can change this if you want to see it in like everywhere. All you have to do is change the load. Uh, I think it's instant size type right here. By default, you only see an arena, but if you just enable it, you can see all anyone, all any friendly player will have an arrow on them. I think you can get a little bit taxing on PCs if there's hundreds of people or like you're in a you're in an epic battleground there's 50 people it can get a little bit much on your cpu so just keep that in mind but yeah if you want to have this all the time you you absolutely can disable friendly um button spellcast i did not make this weak aura um but what this does is this disables like any animations on your action bar because they added it one patch and they just never 
<laughs> there's just no way to hide it. Arena one, two, three precog. So this is where are you hiding? Where's where's my precog hiding? What this does is this will just show precog on enemies that are that have it. That's pretty much it. I don't know why this is hiding right now, but for some reason it's uh it's hiding. So there we go. So it just it's just arena one, two, three. That's it. Shows when they have precog. Enemy dispels. I just track dispels weak auras. This is uh, just for an experience bar. <laughs> I just for, I don't I my experience bar is hidden. Uh, I have a whole video going over my Mistweaver specific weak auras, so I will have that linked in the description. It's all yours. Nameplates cooldown. So this is an updated weak aura that shows the nameplates over totems. I also have my own version of this. I kind of like how the NASA slash Kalix the the T fix because it originally wasn't gonna be updated. I like how it looks. Pet tracker. I've been messing around with this weak aura a little bit. This will put an icon over anything like um, like Siphine, Observer, Tyrant, or Mindbender, anything like that. Again, it, it's, I, it doesn't quite do what I want it to do, so I'll probably just delete it. And then these are the big ones, the PvP cooldown uh, tracker. So this I have one that shows offensive cooldowns. I have one that shows defensive cooldowns, and it'll show when they're active on enemies. So if a DK uses IBF, it'll be a countdown for until it's gone. Um, which I like a lot. PvP shoutouts. This one, this one will yell at you if there's a certain cooldown available. It tracks certain things like en enemy drinking. You can actually track if your teammates drinking as well. So if you don't know if your healer's drinking, you can show that. Uh, show that shadow rift, death mark, chill streak, combust, dark soul, and siphon. So anything like that, just let me know. I can make, I can make these pretty easily. So I like that a lot. And then skill cat party cast bars. This is what shows cast bars next to my raid frame, which is really nice. You can change it however you want i could show you if i just duplicate this and i go party i could um change the trigger to player and this should show this should show my cast bar if i get rid of this yep there we go so that's what the cast bar looks like right there i think it looks clean i'm a fan of it so yeah i think i think that's uh that's, that's a really cool weak aura i think that's it for pvp yeah these are my weak auras here is my profile with all of my weak auras as well so if you need any kind of weak aura or you have a question or anything like that they're all right here so i will put this in the description they're all yours you can copy and paste them most of them are updated for the war within so you shouldn't have any issues with importing them and that is it for the video. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Again, my profiles are in the description. You just copy and paste all the files, whichever add-ons you want into your folder. And that is it for me. If you have any add-ons or comments or concerns or any settings you wanna know, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions about that. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.